Hey y'all, it's CAB5678, crazy about balancing. All balancing, all the time. The way it should be. The School of American Ballet is God's gift to ballet. The New York City Ballet is also God's gift to ballet. George Balanchine said that, okay? He said that the night before his death, on December 3rd, 1946. Let me tell you a little about myself first. Um, uh, you may have noticed um, the fact that I'm somewhat keeping my identity a secret. It's not that I don't want, you know, my SAB friends. Love you guys to not know who I am. You guys obviously know who I am. But, you know... <laughs> Oh my God, God forbid, you know, somebody from an outside school, which I don't even like to think about. I don't want them even seeing my face. For those of you who don't know who I am, um, I go by C, A, B, crazy about balance, five, six, seven, eight. I've been dancing with the School of American Ballet, um, for about four years. Um, I received a scholarship from them. Um, when I was about 12, and, uh, I decided to stay with the school. I've been living there ever since. I just, I realized that there's a lot of jealousy out there about the School of American Ballet because we are so flawless. Why would you want to dance any other way? I mean, I just, I, it doesn't, why would you want to dance any other, any other way? And we, we are, you know, we're the best. <laughs> why, I mean, why, I'm so... That being said, you know, I don't want there to be, like, this tension, you know, like, between us and these other, you know, like, lesser schools. And by lesser, I just mean, you know, every other school. Now, our topic of discussion today is, of course, going to be balancing. However, I'd like to start off by reporting some rather disturbing news. Um as your underground connection to the outside ballet world. Why would you want to dance anywhere else? I feel obligated to report this story to my fellow Balanchine dancers there at SA. This little piece, um, this scrap that I found from a school whose name is going to remain anonymous for the own school's safety, because I guess as an SAB dancer myself, I'm such a jerk. So you're welcome for not, you know, exposing you for who you are. But I will expose this, because this is ridiculous. On this piece of paper, this piece of scrap toilet paper, it says, The Resistance of Balanchine Movement. <laughs> Cute. Again, this is, these are their words, not mine, because this is foul. The Resistance of Balanchine Movement. 2nd of July, 2009. That's laughable. We, the male dancers of America, okay, so we know they're male, dancers of America, and all other countries alike, in order to form a more perfect men's class, establish justice and ensure equality to all who share the same love and passion for the one true form of dance, classical ballet... Red button. <laughs> An attempt to keep alive and restore the well-being of the styles created by I by excuse me by our ballet forefathers. I I guess that's who Vaganova. <laughs> Vaganova. We swear to treat each fellow brother of ballet equally, with respect and with honor. Never again shall a true dancer be forced to round his thumb and his middle finger to touch. I'm pretty sure that's the only... That, sounds, that, that, hand, that hand sounds beautiful to me. That sounds like a description of a beautifully crafted hand. Okay? This is beautiful. If you can't fit a tennis ball in between your, index, your, your middle finger and your thumb, you're not doing it correctly, sweetheart. Sorry. Excuse me. Um, 
uh, middle finger to touch. Never again shall one pirouette from a ridiculously large fourth position with one leg straight. Uh, try, yeah, try piro doing a pirouette from two bent legs. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's laughable. Um, and never again shall a true classical ballet dancer be ignored and forgotten while SAB students purposefully lowercase. Again, cute. Gain the attention of the teacher and get all the corrections. This is justice. This is honor. This is the School of American Ballet Resistance Army. And they all sign their names. <laughs> okay, first off, the SAB students are the ones who get the only corrections because they're the only ones who deserve the corrections. All the other kids are fucking jealous. They're jealous of us. You know, Suzanne Farrell once said, if I had the choice to dance between ABT, the American Ballet Theater, okay, or work at a McDonald's, I would go work at a McDonald's. That's what she said. That is what Suzanne Farrell said. Okay, Suzanne Farrell is one of the most beautiful dancers to ever touch Marley. Okay, to ever set foot in a point shoe. Okay? Okay? Yeah, I'm sorry you don't have hella long legs like I do. Okay? I'm sorry that you don't have beautiful hands like I do when I dance. Okay? I'm sorry that I'm just all around better at everything. The, the a-holes who wrote this don't think that their dance belts stink. But don't tell me, okay, that there's anything wrong with SAB. Because SAB is perfect. 